Okay, so here we have our warm-up for today, and it's a continued fraction. So it's 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. And the answer, the question is, what is the, uh, what is the final value of this as this goes off to infinity? Oh. Oh. It's going to approach a limit. It's going to converge. Okay. But it's going to take a while. Ooh, ooh, pick me. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. So, first of all, Oop, the camera. let's call it, a se let's do a sequence. Anybody, actually, anybody have any guesses before we start? How to define it as a sequence? Well, no, I guess it, the defining, this is the final answer. What do we got for guesses? I already know. Okay, so well, it's probably just one, right? You have two. What do you, Haley says two. You can, you want to say one? Yeah. Oh, wait. Um, take a guess. Dang it. Okay, I'm changing my answer to 1.5. 1.5. I want to say E. I'm going to say E. <laughs> because of my you shirt. Can't, you can't yes. even get to E by do, doing 1 plus 1. How do you suppose you can get to E over 2. Yeah, how's that? So, actually, this is the wrong notation. It would be T sub n. Right. Over 2. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm just going to write a few iterations of it. So the first term would be, uh, would it be this or would it be this? I, I'm going to say it's that. That's the first term. One plus one. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Catch. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Why we're not in uh, sports with balls that make you catch. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Reasons we're not taking a grammar coach. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's up? How about we write it as an improper fraction? Three halves. Three halves. Cool. It's amazing how often we use improper fractions. Yeah, like in, in elementary school, they're like, no, you're not allowed to. You have to use mixed numbers. But you're using mixed numbers. Yeah, that's right. Can you imagine okay. like, doing equations? No, we have this. Mixed numbers. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so that's one over one. Uh, one over two. Yeah. 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 Maybe two so over two over, over two. So five yeah. thirds. Yeah. So if for uh, for the camera audience, maybe it's a little bit easier to think of this is the same thing as this. Oh, wow. I should. So, right. substitution. This becomes 1 plus the reciprocal of 3 halves, so 1 plus 2 thirds, and that equals 5 thirds. And, uh, it's too much space. <sighs> too much space or not enough? Uh, one plus 1, plus 1, plus Are the award to the main office, please? <laughs> this is gonna be the last iteration I do, okay? Okay, free up the dogs. Free up the dogs. No, this is, this is an iteration. Sure. What's this one? Yeah. Okay, so it's. Think of what we just did to help you do this. Okay, so Seven fourths. Wait, so now it would be eight fifths, right? Eight fifths. One yeah. plus three over five. Yeah, because this is three. This is. Five thirds, and then you reciprocate because it's one over that, and then you added one to it. So this becomes three fifths plus a five fifths equals eight fifths. So to write it as a sequence, you'd be writing one plus t sub n over or to the negative one. Let me erase some things. Let me erase some things. I, I forget how to write sequences. Yeah, I know. Let's just write it as a list then. We start we have to start with two and then we go to three halves. Well, that's actually I'll call this two over one just to help you out here. So and the numerator then, in the last value becomes the denominator in mm -hmm. the next one. But what's the next one? That's the key to this. Something over oh, eight. It's a sum. 
11 over 8. The numerator and the denominator. Mm -hmm. 11 so over 8. The next one would be 13 over 8. That's what I meant. I know my addition. Is this a Fibonacci sequence? <laughs> Fibonacci. Perfect. Remember these guys? 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. I know you guys know this. I'm this for the camera. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. So what's the next term? 25... 21. I can do a simple math. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the next uh, fraction going to be? 21 over 13. 21. Oh, I'm so good at this. Actually, you've already, right. <laughs> already done this. Okay. What so, about the next one? If these are terms of the Fibonacci sequence, what's the sequence for this? Just in words, not in math. Okay. Math over math. <laughs> so I'm assuming that the whole function would start with 1? Is that what you're saying? Like Actually, yeah, that's right. Because, one? because this is actually the first term, right? 1 yeah, over 1. It's it, a good point. So, okay, well, now... Hmm. 1 over 2. So... Yeah. Oh! It'd be Fibonacci over Fibonacci, Fibonacci minus 1. Well, Fibonacci over... Fibonacci. So Fibonacci plus 1 over, over Fibonacci. Fibonacci. Well, I said Fibonacci over Fibonacci minus one, but it's different. Either either way, um, but one other thing you should probably know is that the Greeks love their Fibon Greeks. I think Greeks love their Fibonacci numbers because they think they thought these proportions were somehow golden. The golden um, rule. Like they would have loved three by five index cards because they were the perfect ratio. And <laughs> many of their paintings are actually in Fibonacci. Things. If you've ever seen um, the Golden Spiral before, oh yeah, Kevin knows it. Yeah, so you I have, have a T-shirt with that. I knows it. Actually, from uh, math, like was it regional math? Yeah. Campus? Yeah. So Squares. basically, you make this big rectangle, and each of these is the ratio of one Fibonacci to another. So one by one, and then one by two, and two by 3, and then 3 by 5, and 5 by 8, and 8 by 13, and 13 by 21. And it makes this... 21 plus 40. Super cool shell-like thing. I actually drew that pretty well. <laughs> yeah, you did. And actually, you'll see on some cameras um, with smartphones, they actually put this golden spiral in there if you want as a setting, so you can capture things in the right um, portion frame and stuff. What? what kind of Anomalous? smartphones do you use? I've seen it on the camera app. I don't know what it was used for. I'm not a photographer person. People on YouTube help me out here. I am figuring out if I can <laughs> Okay. I haven't seen it on all smartphones, but I've seen it on like one or two apps. On Only app. one app. Okay, anyway, different. so oh, the about. idea behind this is that the long side over the short side, so 5 over 3, 8 over 5, 13 over 8, 21 over 13, the limit over two. as this goes on and on, equal this one over the term before it equals phi or phi and it's phi 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 yeah and that equals about 16 1.61 i believe that was close no the problem <laughs> is that is not this because yeah. this is this over the one before it whereas this is this over the that one. over the one before it wait 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 wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's what you did. That's right. Good so, job. Is, so maybe that maybe you're right. that that sequence is approaching one point six one. Right? Yeah. That's what you're saying. Okay. Oh man, I think I got this wrong. I might have got this wrong then. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I did it. As wrong. far as I know, that should be the correct sequence. And yeah, if that's true, it would approach phi or phi. And this is one of our favorite irrational numbers that you can get on Thinkgeek as a T-shirt, just like this. So. Who got here the closest? I'm not sure. What's 2.71 divided by 2? Yeah, man. Well, we got e divided by 2. 2.7 divided by 2. That's 20, 20. That's pretty close. I don't think it's as close as 1.5. <laughs> I think it's closer. Okay, yeah, this is... 1.35. Yeah. Darn it. So, yeah. Sorry, Russ. Camden got it. Wait, what's pi over 2, though? Pi over 2. Dang it. You have to do it in the calculator. 1.57. So he woke up. Should have done pi. Should have done pi. Some so reason I was thinking that I'll is the uh, brain teaser for today, and it's probably a good place to go into irrational numbers from here. Anyway, and theme. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to.
researching into that. That's, That's nice. fine. Anything on irrational numbers, Haley? Uh, well, we I won't was record you. told to research prime numbers. Oh, prime numbers. And that didn't go so well. What happened?